welcome. I'm Nick Jones of Alpha Dog Behaviour. What I'd like to talk to you about during this short video is the introduction and use of the clicker. The clicker is a very simple device. It's normally a plastic box. Some of them have volume controls on the side and a metal plate inside. When we press the metal plate, the dog hears this sound. What we need to do, of course, is to follow up the click with a treat. It's all, the method is click and treat. The way we use the clicker is to mark a desirable behavior. So it allows us to, to communicate with the dog to say, yes, that's what I wanted you to do and to follow that up with food straight afterwards. So I'd like to show you how to introduce a clicker to a dog. The dog I'll be using for this will be my own boy, Max. He's a 13 month old wire haired Vizsla and to this stage he hasn't been introduced to a clicker. So you'll be seeing along with me firsthand the way I will go about introducing the clicker and different ways in which we can develop certain parts of his behavior. So when we first introduce the clicker, you will need a bowl of treats. What I'm using here are some very small pieces of liver, which I happen to know are Max's uh, absolute delight. When you first use a clicker, be careful, especially if it sounds quite loud as this one does, not to sort of stick it in your dog's face as if it was a remote control. Some dogs can find this, especially sensitive dogs, can find this sound a bit brash. So what I often do is begin to click maybe under my armpit, because you'll, you'll hear it yourself, the difference from this to this. Now they're both audible to the dog, but the, the second one is, is quieter. Another approach is that you could use it behind your back, and that's of medium volume. Max is a good steady dog, he doesn't mind such noises, so I should just use it right from the beginning out front. Other little devices it could be used with uh, more delicate dogs could be something like the top of a, a clicking pen. Um, anything like that to make a noise as a marker. Okay, so let me show you firsthand Max being given about 20 treats in a couple of different locations. So we are charging the clicker. So it's always click and then treat. Let me put Max a uh, little pip out because she's angling for some. Max, stay, pip out. So at this stage, we're not asking anything from the dog. This is simply building up the association that the click equals a treat. Well, this is a great game, thinks the dog. Now, later on, of course, we'll start to ask the dog to do things before we then click and treat. So that is very quickly and easily the way to charge the clicker. We have now built up in Max's mind the association that click equals food. Let me now show you how you can begin to mark desired behavior using the click treat method. What I'll simply start with is the sit and then the down position. So firstly we'll introduce the SIT command. Thanks, come. Sit. Gently. Come. Sit. Gently. So you'll be noticing that I'm only clicking when he hits the position. Now I'm going to do the D-O-W-N position. Down. And you'll notice that I only clicked when he, when he hit the floor flat. Down. He's throwing himself at it. You, you can see he's enjoying it. Sit. Down. I'm also wait, waiting for the right moment, so he has to be nice and tidy. 
max down. Down. Sit. Gently, gently. Stay. Okay. That's it, buddy. Your food's gone. So there you have it. You've seen very quickly how to introduce the clicker to the dog and then how to move on to a couple of basic exercises such as the sit and the down. Once you have that under your belt, you can then move on to more complicated uh, behaviours. Please remember that you should only click when the dog is in the position that you're waiting for. Don't click if the dog is in a half down. Wait for him to hit the floor completely flat and then click to take, as it were, a photograph of that behaviour.